Today we're diving into the enigmatic world of one of history's most influential figures, Jesus of Nazareth. Despite centuries of research, there are mysteries about his life that continue to baffle scholars and theologians alike. Let's explore five of the most compelling unsolved mysteries of the historical Jesus. It is the most important historical religious figure if it is defined by the number of followers of the great religions today. Led by Christianity with 2.4 billion followers, followed by Islam with 1.9 billion believers. Beyond what the scriptures affirm, its historicity is accepted by an overwhelming majority of historians, scholars, and biblical scholars. Others propose a simpler explanation. Perhaps Jesus spent these years in the humble routine of a carpenter's life, living with his family in Nazareth. This theory holds that the wisdom of Jesus stemmed not from worldly experiences, but from a deep spiritual understanding and connection with God. Yet the truth remains elusive. The New Testament leaps from a precocious 12-year-old Jesus, astonishing scholars in the temple, to a 30-year-old man ready to begin his public ministry. The years in between, the so-called lost years, are scarcely touched upon. This silence in the scriptures leaves us with more questions than answers. Why this historical gap? Some argue that these years were simply uneventful, not worthy of mention. Others believe that the authors of the Gospels writing decades after Jesus' death simply did not have detailed information about this period of his life. Despite these theories, we find ourselves standing at the edge of a historical void, gazing into a stretch of years that is both intriguing and perplexing. The Lost Years of Jesus a significant span of time in the life of one of history's most influential figures remains shrouded in mystery. This mystery fuels speculation and debate, inviting us to ponder the unknown. It reminds us of the limits of historical knowledge and the enduring intrigue of the unexplored and the unexplained. And so, without definitive evidence, the lost years of Jesus continue to be a captivating enigma. Next, we pose the question, what did Jesus really look like? The familiar images are deeply ingrained, but do they reflect historical accuracy? The truth is, we simply don't know. There are no contemporary descriptions of Jesus' appearance. The Bible, our primary source of information about Jesus, is notably silent on this topic. For centuries, artists have been left to their own devices, creating a myriad of representations of Jesus that reflect their cultural context more than historical accuracy. From the fair-skinned, blue-eyed Jesus of Western art, to the African Jesus of Ethiopian iconography, the depictions are as diverse as the societies that produced them. This lack of a concrete image has led to a fascinating phenomenon. In every corner of the globe, communities have imagined Jesus in their own image and likeness. It's a testament to the universal appeal of his teachings, the ability to see oneself in his story, regardless of cultural or ethnic background. In the absence of a physical description, some scholars have turned to science for answers. Using forensic anthropology, they've attempted to reconstruct what the average man in first century Judea might have looked like. The results are strikingly different from the familiar Western image. These reconstructions suggest a man of average height for his time, around 5 feet 5 inches, with olive brown skin, dark eyes, and short curly hair. But is this the true face of Jesus? Again, we can't say for certain. It's a best guess, an educated estimation based on the general population of his time and place. This mystery challenges us to rethink how we visualize historical figures when there's an absence of direct evidence. It prompts us to question our assumptions, to realize that our mental images are often shaped more by societal ideals than by historical realities. And it reminds us that the essence of a person, their impact and influence, goes far beyond their physical appearance. So while we may never know what Jesus truly looked like, we can appreciate the diversity of his representations as a reflection of the global reach and enduring power of his message. Our third mystery delves into the historical records. Beyond the biblical accounts, what direct evidence do we have of Jesus' life? This question takes us on a journey into the annals of ancient history, where we encounter brief references to Jesus by historians such as Flavius Josephus and Cornelius Tacitus, Josephus, a first-century Jewish historian, makes a fleeting mention of Jesus in his work Antiquities of the Jews. Yet, his account, written decades after Jesus' death, 
is mired in controversy due to suspected later additions by Christian scribes. Similarly, Roman historian Tacitus, writing early in the 2nd century, refers to Jesus' execution under Pontius Pilate. However, his account too comes long after Jesus' death and offers more about the early Christian community than Jesus himself. Beyond these, we find ourselves in a dearth of contemporaneous records. The silence from other historians of the time, such as Philo of Alexandria, who lived in the same era and region, adds to the enigma. This absence of direct evidence from Jesus' lifetime fuels ongoing debates among scholars. Some argue that the lack of records isn't surprising given Jesus' status as a relatively obscure figure during his lifetime. Others propose that records may have once existed but were lost or destroyed over the ensuing centuries. And then there are those who contend that the scarcity of records raises questions about the historical accuracy of the biblical accounts. The scarcity of contemporaneous records leaves many questions about the details of Jesus' life and the extent of his impact during his lifetime. Was he widely known or a marginal figure? Did he really have such a profound impact? Or were the stories of his life embellished over time? Like a puzzle missing key pieces, the historical record of Jesus' life remains incomplete, leaving us to grapple with these intriguing mysteries. Fourth on our list, we explore the enigmatic relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Was their connection more than spiritual? The Gospels provide some insight into their relationship, but the full extent of their bond remains elusive and a subject of much speculation. Mary Magdalene is a prominent figure in the New Testament, appearing in all four Gospels. She's portrayed as a devoted follower of Jesus, being present at his crucifixion and the first to witness his resurrection. But was there more to their relationship than what is portrayed in these texts? Several non-canonical texts, including the Gospel of Mary and the Gospel of Philip, suggest a deeper connection. The Gospel of Philip, for instance, describes Mary as the companion of Jesus, a term that can imply a marital relationship. However, these texts were written much later than the canonical Gospels, and their historical accuracy is debated. In the Gospel of Mary, it suggested that Mary Magdalene had knowledge that the other disciples did not. This has led to speculation about a unique, possibly intimate relationship between her and Jesus. However, the term intimate may not necessarily mean a romantic or marital bond. It could also imply a deep spiritual connection. The theory of a marital relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene gained popularity with the publication of Dan Brown's novel, The Da Vinci Code. While the novel is a work of fiction, it sparked renewed interest and debate about the nature of their relationship. However, mainstream biblical scholars and historians generally dismiss the idea of Jesus being married to Mary Magdalene. They argue that if such a significant event as Jesus' marriage had occurred, it would have been recorded in the canonical Gospels. Despite these arguments, the exact nature of Jesus' relationship with Mary Magdalene remains a topic of curiosity and controversy. Like many aspects of Jesus' life, it's shrouded in mystery, leaving room for interpretation and speculation. Our final mystery revolves around the Shroud of Turin. Could this be the actual burial cloth of Jesus Christ? This linen rectangle, measuring roughly 14 and a half by 3 and a half feet, is imprinted with the faint image of a man, front and back. The markings on his body appear to mirror those traditionally associated with the crucifixion of Jesus, sparking intrigue and debate. The Shroud of Turin, named for the Italian city where it's kept, has been subjected to numerous scientific examinations. Perhaps the most famous of these is the radiocarbon dating conducted in 1988. This test suggested the Shroud was created between 1260 and 1390, long after the time of Jesus. However, some contest these findings, pointing to potential contamination of the sample. Another area of investigation is the formation of the image. Some propose it could be a medieval forgery, created using techniques available at the time. Others speculate it might be the result of a natural chemical reaction, or even a burst of radiant energy, akin to a photographic negative. The Shroud's authenticity is a matter of ongoing debate. Some see it as a profound testament to faith a tangible link to the crucifixion. Others regard it as a medieval work of art, remarkable in its own right, but not a relic of the first century.
and still others consider it a puzzle to be solved, a challenge to our understanding of history, art, and science. There are no easy answers when it comes to the Shroud of Turin. Each piece of evidence, each theory, raises new questions. And as with all mysteries, part of its allure lies in the search for answers, not just the answers themselves. Ultimately, the Shroud of Turin remains an enigma, its authenticity a matter of faith, interpretation, and ongoing scientific investigation. The mystery of the Shroud, like the other mysteries we've explored, invites us to question, to wonder, and to seek understanding. It's a reminder that the story of Jesus, a man who lived over 2,000 years ago, continues to captivate and inspire us today.